guys, it's Sharka Stripes. So today we're doing a quick little tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how to download Minecraft worlds and then put them into your game because a few of you were having questions or issues with that. So this is just gonna be really quick, basic, simple, easy, whatever. But yeah, if you're wondering how to do that, hopefully this will help. The first step is to find the world that you want to download. I'm just gonna grab one from Planet Minecraft. We're gonna go by downloads, just see what is supposedly the best one out here. Okay, the fourth dimension looked pretty cool, so we're just gonna get this one. We're gonna click download Minecraft map. It will probably automatically start downloading or it will take you to Mediafire where you can start downloading. Anyway, once that's done downloading, you can go ahead and open your Minecraft. For now, I'll just show you guys how to do it on the latest release, which is 1.13, but it works on everything below this and probably everything above this. So we're just gonna click play. We're gonna open our game really quickly. And then we can go ahead over to options, click resource packs, and click open resource pack folder. So now at the top, click on .minecraft, and you'll be able to see your saves folder. So if you double click that and open it, you'll have any worlds you have saved. Currently, I don't have any. So how you're gonna get the world you just downloaded into this is you can drag in either from the downloads folder or just straight from the download bar, and then you can close out of that. So in here, you might see that it's a .zip, and that's not gonna work, that's not gonna show up in your folder. So you're gonna need to double tap to open this and drag the folder that is not a zip out into the saves. So you should have your two folders here, the zipped one, which doesn't matter, and this one, and whatever this is named is what in your Minecraft the world will show up as. So then you can go ahead and if you want, check to make sure that everything that needs to be there is there. We're going to delete the .zip folder because we don't need that anymore, and we can close out of this. Now when we go back to our Minecraft, we can leave the resource packs and go over to single player, and our new world should appear right here. We can go ahead and click play selected world. It will go ahead and load in. Now you should have the world that you just downloaded. I honestly am not entirely sure what this world is, but we're gonna go with it. It seems to be pretty impressive. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, requests, or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!